Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be reading romance books and more specifically I'm going to be reading Kindle Unlimited romance books. For anyone who doesn't know, KU is a subscription service through Amazon where you pay a set fee every month and it gives you access to a library of books. I've had really mixed experiences with KU in the past because last year I went through a bit of a phase where all of the books that I was reading through Kindle Unlimited I wasn't enjoying and so I cancelled my subscription. But then last month I noticed that there was an offer on where you could get three months of Kindle Unlimited for £7.99 or £8 and I thought it would be worth it because I've been watching a lot of romance book tubers recently who have been recommending books that I know are available on Kindle Unlimited and I really want to read them. Basically I thought it would be a really good opportunity to see whether I thought it was worth it. So yeah hopefully you enjoy this video. I am on a little bit of a mission, not gonna lie, because I really want a five star read. That is my main aim because when I used to have a subscription up until I cancelled it last year I don't think I'd ever read a five star book through Kindle Unlimited so that is my goal. Whether it actually happens We'll see. The first book that I'm reading for this vlog is Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I have made a start on this book already, but I'll explain in the next clip more about what it's about. <laughs> hey everyone, so I've made a start on Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I'm about 20% of the way through, and I'm not sure if I said before, but this is the first time that I've read a Colleen Hoover book, and so I don't know what my expectations really were, but I am enjoying it so far but I think it's still a little early for me to say how much. The story basically follows two characters, Morgan and her daughter, Clara. So in the first chapter, Morgan is 17 and she finds out that she's pregnant and then the story flicks ahead 17 years. So you're following Morgan now that she's an adult and Clara is 17, so the same age that Morgan was in the first chapter. When Morgan was a teenager, her mom pretty much let her do whatever she wanted and Morgan has always felt like that is one of the reasons why she got pregnant so young and so she is very protective of Clara because she doesn't want her to end up in a similar situation. There's also a few other characters like Morgan's younger sister Jenny or Clara's aunt Jenny and when they were younger basically there was the four of them that would hang out together as teenagers so Morgan and Chris and Jenny and Jonah. It's really funny because as I've been reading this I've been making notes on how I feel about certain characters and certain situations and I made a note basically saying that one of the characters I didn't trust and I couldn't really pinpoint what it was about them that I didn't like but I just had a feeling that there was something else going on and then literally the last chapter that I read like the next chapter after I made that note something is revealed and something happens that I wasn't really expecting but also I feel like I was justified in feeling that way so yeah. Okay so I'm now about 60% of the way through Regretting You by Colleen Hoover and you know what I'm surprised by how much I am actually liking this because when I first started this book I was really nervous that it was gonna go in a direction that I don't like but so far that hasn't happened so we're all good. <laughs> what I really like is that although this book does have romance it's also dealing with grief and it's looking at how complicated relationships can be like within families and also romantic relationships. I feel really split at the moment because there's two main perspectives that you're following, Morgan and Clara, and I really like Morgan's perspective and I like Morgan as a character but Clara is getting on my nerves a little bit and oh, the thing is that I know that she's a teenager and so to a certain extent it's understandable that she is a little immature however being inside her head is really frustrating at times. She has grown on me a little bit and so hopefully my opinion will change by the end of the book. There's not a lot more I can really say on the plot because I feel like it would be really easy to spoil this book but it is very emotional because it deals with grief and I found myself feeling really sorry for Morgan and the situation that she she's in and I'm really rooting for her. I really hope that she does get a happy ending. I really want her and Clara to start communicating because that is really frustrating me as well. I just need them to talk to each other and they're not talking right now and it's not so much that it's miscommunication, it's just a complete lack of communication which is also really frustrating. So I finished reading Regretting You last night and this was a very frustrating book in places like oh but I did really enjoy it overall and so I gave it four stars in the end. I know I haven't 
haven't really talked about the love interests in this because I feel like that alone could be spoilery but there's two separate romances so one that's a first love situation and another that's not. <laughs> it felt a lot like a soap opera in places because of all the drama and I think if you want a romance book that's emotional but in a way that's still relatively light and easy to breeze through then I would recommend this. So I have now finished the second book that I'm reading for this vlog which is Flow by Kennedy Ryan. I'm pretty sure that someone actually recommended me this author and I think it was Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life because I'm pretty sure that I've seen her talking about Kennedy Ryan's books in her vlogs so I'll leave a link to her channel down below if you wanted to check it out. This is a really short novella that follows two characters Grip and Bristol. It's the first book in a trilogy so this acts as a prequel and it's a really short novella it's around 120 pages and then the other two books I think are full-length novels. So Bristol is Grip's friend Reese's sister, they're twins but they haven't actually seen or spoke to each other in over five years because Reese is now emancipated from their parents. Bristol is at college in New York but she's come to California to visit Reese so that they can try and repair their relationship. I really liked the way that this book is written because it's told in the first person perspective from both of the main characters perspectives so you get Bristol's point of view as well as Grip's point of view and I really like romance books that are told in that style because it means that you get to see inside the main characters heads both of their thoughts as well as how they view the other person. I do sometimes feel nervous about reading short books and especially short romance books because I sometimes find that there isn't enough time for the relationship to develop in a way that doesn't feel rushed. However I didn't find that with this book at all. I think that because there was so much dialogue between the characters and because of the way that Kennedy Ryan wrote these conversations the way that their relationship built up did feel really believable. I gave this book four stars and I was really interested in reading the sequel however the last few pages went in a direction that I don't tend to love in romance books and so I am now a little bit unsure. I think I would still like to give it a go because I did really like the characters and I thought that this was a really good introduction to their story and I would like to see how it continues. The next book I'm reading for this vlog is Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas and I've never actually read a Penelope Douglas book before but I know that she's a very popular author especially within the booktube community. I'm sure I've seen a lot of people talking about her books so I am really interested to see what I think of this. So this book follows two characters Misha and Ryan who have been pen pals since they were like 11 and they're now 18 so for the past seven years they've been talking to each other through letters and confiding in each other and becoming really close friends but they've never actually met, they've never seen each other, neither of them knows what the other person looks like until Misha accidentally comes across Ryan's Facebook profile and the story is kind of going from there like I said I've literally read two chapters but I am really enjoying the writing style so far. It's very easy to read and I'm reading it quite quickly. Not sure how I feel about the characters yet. I feel like I need to read a little bit more before I can form a proper opinion. I'm over 50% of the way through now and I'm really struggling to explain my thoughts on this book because of all the books that I've read so far for this vlog I do like the writing in this probably the most. However I don't like either of the main characters and I'm really struggling to get past that. I think they're horrible people and their relationship is really toxic. Misha is basically lying to Ryan about who he really is and so she has no idea that he's this guy that she's been writing to all these years. It's just not a nice relationship and I think that when it comes to romance books I like to root for the characters and I want to feel like I want them to get together whereas I don't feel like that with this. Like I said though I am still finding that I want to keep on reading because I do think that it's well written. I just don't like the characters. You know how sometimes you'll come across a book and you'll think that it's really well written but it's just not to your personal taste. I feel like that's what this book was for me. There were certain aspects that I did really like and I can definitely see why a lot of people would love this book but there was also a lot of jealousy and possessive behaviour from both of the main characters and that's something that I just don't enjoy reading about. I think I was a little unfair before. I don't think the characters are horrible. I think that there was just a lot of teenage angst that like I said is just 
not my kind of thing. I gave this book three stars in the end and I would really be interested in reading some of Penelope Douglas's other books because I did really like her writing. I was originally going to finish this vlog after that last book but because I finished it a lot quicker than I was expecting I decided to pick up just one more book and the book that I decided to go for was Go Deep by Rilsey Adams. So this is a really short novella. I think it's around 140 pages and it's about a woman who's a writer and she writes erotic fiction novels but she's been been celibate for over 18 months after her last boyfriend cheated on her and she started to feel like it's impacting on her work because her last novel got really bad reviews. So she basically asked her best friend for some help in getting inspiration and the story kind of goes from there. I think it was Naima from Naima's Reads that I saw talking about this in her last wrap up and it was pretty much exactly how she described it. I really liked the characters in this and I really liked the writing. The only thing I didn't love was the big beginning. I felt like the setup for the relationship felt quite rushed and it wasn't very believable and I know that that's probably because this is just a short novella but I am really glad that I stuck with it because I did really like how things played out and I did really like the ending. If I were to rate this out of 10 then it would probably be a 7. I did really enjoy it and I would recommend it if you're looking for a short steamy read about two friends getting together then I think that this does a pretty good job. So I think that brings me to the end of the video so thanks for watching if you've made it this far. I feel like this experiment has been really successful because I enjoyed all of the books that I read for this vlog and I would definitely like to pick up more books by all of these authors depending on what kind of mood I was in because I feel like all of these books were very different. I didn't realise as I was going through that the books were getting more and more steamy as time went on which it's not a bad thing but yeah if you've read any books by any of these authors then please let me know in the comments what you thought of them and if there's any other books that you would recommend. If you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>